Welcome to the craziest challenge you'll see in a little while. It's mortar and tack. What? Yeah, that seems kind of easy, right? Using mortar and level one dart monkeys? Oh my goodness gracious, can you pass level 50? Woo! This is going to be crazy, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be super fun. We're going to put dart monkeys literally everywhere. They're going to be seriously all over the screen. Plus, we get a big chunk of money to start off with. That's kind of cool as well. So as far as the mortars are concerned, we're going to need them for camo, you know. So we'll get, like, we'll put them in the weird spots. Put them, yeah. yeah, we'll do something like that. And then, like I said, they're going to be everywhere anyways. So let's just start putting them as close as possible. Right here. And hopefully we can clean this, clean these things up quite quickly. Round one. Plus the money's gonna be kind of slow in the very beginning here, quite obviously. I wish I could put it on non-stop mode, cause, cause, cause I would like that. Cause then I could be lazy. I'm a lazy guy. Aren't you guys lazy peoples? I think everybody's lazy when they get down to it. Anyways, today I decided I actually went fishing. I know that's kind of weird. I usually don't go fishing, cause I'll be honest. I don't buy a fishing license. That's my number one reason why I don't go fishing usually. But I went fishing like behind my uh, my one friend's house. Because I haven't gone fishing in an extremely long time. Probably five years or something like that. Sadly, I didn't catch anything. It was kind of sad that I didn't catch anything. But it kind of made sense. It was kind of in the middle of the day at like 2 o'clock. And usually I think fish usually don't really like to be outside at 2 o'clock too much. You know, usually in the evening or in the morning is usually when they're out. I think. I don't know, I'm not a fish expert by, by no means. But I actually had fun. So I actually uh, remember when I was a kid, a long time ago, man, I used to actually really like fishing. I used to, I never actually killed the fish, by the way. I, I'm not, I don't know, I don't have it in me to do that. But I liked catching the fish. So I'd catch the fish. I got a huge, like, tackle box for Christmas one year. I got, like, this really cool uh, practice casting rod and everything like that. So I could practice casting everything. And... I would go in this field behind my house and just, like, cast all the time. It was kind of cool. I just waited for the first nice day out. I remember. I was excited because I wanted to wait for the first nice day out so I can go and practice casting so I can go fishing. Isn't that weird? I think so. I think it's kind of weird. But I did it nonetheless. Um, and when I went fishing, well, there's a couple cool stories I actually have for fishing. Because, uh... I've only caught... Two bass, one catfish, and about a bajillion gold. A bajillion bluegill. Like a bajillion, man. Also, I'm pretty sure... Well, I caught... I caught a half-dead carp as well. <laughs> so, it was like three feet. And I didn't really catch it. It was kind of just like there, and I kind of just like... I don't know. I could have caught it if I wanted, but it was like half-dead, and I just felt bad about it. So, so I just I left it as it was, and I didn't want to bother it too much. Um, but yes, yes, that's the only thing that I've ever caught, but as far as the bluegill go, why the heck have I caught so many bluegill? Well, there's this pond by my house. I have actually, like, about four to five ponds that I could actually walk to. They're really not far at all. They're not very big, you know, probably about a thousand feet wide or so, tops, 500 feet wide, all around. It's okay. It's reasonable size ponds. Uh, because we need to pack in as many dirt monkeys as we could possibly fit in here. Pack them in, man. Oh, wait, I forgot my cam protection. Whoops. <laughs> well, I should have started upgrading my mortar by now. So let's start getting him up so we don't have to be stupid about this anymore. But I, I, we went fishing so often at this one spot near this one pond by my house that uh, I'm pretty sure people stocked it with fish. Like, it was like a man-made lake or something like that. Like, 20 years ago, they started, they, like, made this lake. And uh, people were putting fish in there. Like, it would catch it from other ponds and put them in the, in the, in the pond. And then they'd make their own little ecosystem in there, which is kind of cool, I think. But uh, we would go in the same spot every single time. And we'd always feed them bread. We fed the fish bread. we just throw the bread in. Just keep throwing the bread in. Just feed the fish. They would pop up, they'd eat all the food and everything. It wasn't like you had to actually go search for the, the, the fish. They would just, like, they were trained to, like, come to this spot. We trained the fish. I'm not even joking. I'm really not joking at all. The fish learned that food is there, so they go and they eat it. Anyway, so all you had to do was you threw, like, 10, 20 pieces of bread in the, in the water. 
and then all of a sudden, you just throw your hook with a piece of bread in the water. Bam shazam, free bluegill. So you could literally catch these bluegill so easily. You literally di dipped the thing in the, in the pond, and you can catch a fish. So I would tell this to people, and I'd be like, hey, you want to go fishing? And they'd be like, oh, dude, fishing is boring. And I'm like, not when you catch fish nonstop all the freaking time. And they're like, well, I guess that's, that's just kind of true. So here we go. It looks like... Um, no! <laughs> I don't know. I really wish that I had two mortars now. Why was I so silly? Got him. Got him. Right there. We'll get another one of these mortars up to uh, signal flare as well. I don't know why. Just to kind of keep them keep looking nice and everything like that. So here we go. Signal flare. I'll get the increased accuracy and the bigger blast as well. But I think the main thing that I'm worried about is probably the Moabs. I'm actually not even that worried about this challenge. It's probably going to be pretty darn easy. Should hopefully take them down quite easily. Anyways, back to my story. So you could literally just dip your dip your fishing pole in and you catch a bluegill every single time. It was very, very easy to catch these fish. I had a bunch of fun doing it. I actually I don't know why. I just I liked catching the fish. I liked being like touching the fish and being like studying them a little bit, just looking at them and being like, these things are cool, man. And I let them go. You could even like if you actually looked inside of a fish, you could like see down his entire throat into his stomach. It's very odd. Just weird. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fitting all those dart monkeys in there. There's, what, 25 dart monkeys? Or no, 20, 20 dart monkeys. 20 dart monkeys in there. It's enough dart monkeys to feed a family, man. Alright, so we've got even more. And the funny thing is, I'm actually getting so much money that I can't even, uh... Uh, get enough time to put all these dart monkeys in. So actually, you'd catch some of these fish so many times. You'd re-catch them so many times because they didn't really learn or they just didn't care that they were getting caught every once in a while. That, uh... You could actually get them with scars, like, in, on their, like, mouth, like, on the top of their mouth. You could see the scars where we caught them so many times before the hook, where the hook caught, got them. I kind of felt bad about that. I'm like, wow, man, I wonder if these fish, like, feel pain. But then they wouldn't come back if they were really scarred for life that, that they, they got caught and they, like, got taken out of the water. Because obviously that's kind of a scary thing to live with. You know, if you just randomly were sitting in your house and all of a sudden you're like, hey, I'm hungry. I'm going to go in my, my fridge, man. And all of a sudden something pops out and just rum, 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 and just takes you out of nowhere. Pulls you out into under the water for, like, a minute. And you're like, you couldn't breathe, freaking out, everything was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun at all. So actually, we're getting to the point where I have so much money that I cannot afford to not wait. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm just going to keep on putting my dart monkeys down. Got a lot of money here. Hopefully we can uh, build all of our dart monkeys in time. I'm actually getting... I'm actually kind of fast with this. If you actually think about how fast I am with my dart monkey spamming, I think I'm pretty good. Especially getting them reasonably accurate. Get my dirt monkeys right there. Get them out right there, and I'll start sending out the next round again. In fact, the best thing to do would probably be to just put it on slow motion. Then I wouldn't have to wait in between rounds. I could just keep on sending them out forever. So yeah, I ended up catching pretty much infinite fish, infinite bluegills. It was a very interesting spot, but sadly, the bluegills do not go to that spot anymore. They've they've learned that we don't fish there anymore, or people don't do it anymore. This was back when I was like 14 years old or so. 13 years old. I was obviously, I'm obviously like 24 right now. I'm a pretty old guy, I know. It's kind of weird. It was 10 years ago that we used to do that. Fish do not come back. So whenever I tell people about the amazing fishing spot, some people don't even believe me. They'll be like, no, nah, that's so weird. Fish don't do that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, they do. Also, my one friend, Sean, that I used to do it with all the time. Uh, so I really hope we can pop this Moab. I, I hope so. I really think, I think we can. I don't see why not. Oh yeah, pretty darn easily, actually. One time we caught a bass, which was fairly interesting because we, like, never catch bass. We caught a bass, and he, he ran over, and he's like, put it in the bucket, man. I want to show my mom. So we, I'm like, what? well, yeah, I need a bigger bucket than that. You know, I can't put it in that little baby bucket. It was literally like a bucket, like, four inches wide. I'm like, how the heck am I going to put a foot bass in the four-inch bucket? It just doesn't make any sense. You're just going to kill it, man. So I ended up letting it go, and his mom didn't end up seeing the bass. But I felt bad for the fish just to, like, put it in a four- Like, it doesn't fit, you know? Straight up, just didn't fit. 
too bad, so sad, you're going to have to deal with it. Whatever. So anyways, Dart Monkey Fest for sure, we still got like $2,000, but honestly, what the heck's going to kill us now? Level 49? Maybe. I hope not. But I guess there's, there's always that possibility. Those regrows are probably the, the main, like, oh, maybe that could possibly do something to us. I hope they don't. Maybe we'll have to micro our mortar just a little bit. So I will slow it down a little bit just in case these regrows are straight up evil. Micro and no problems whatsoever. Very, very easily taken down. And we've got $6,000 now. Oh my god, I could just, like, seriously just start putting dart monkeys literally everywhere. Everywhere! So much money! And the, the thing's actually going to end before we even spend all of our money on the dirt monkeys. It's so sad. It's so sad. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my random stories about catching fishes. Little baby fishes. And the bluegills. And the basses. And then, uh, oh, there's another one, actually. I'll tell you guys later about the baby catfish that I caught. Oh, man, yeah. There's billions of them. Billions of baby catfish. Literally everywhere. It's kind of like these dart monkeys, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it. Alright, that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you did, throw a like down the bottom there, man. I do appreciate those. And have a super duper delicious day.